Welcome to Pro Tools First for Beginners Part 3. Now this is really exciting. We're finally going to go ahead and create some real music. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our old track. But before that, remember to go to creatingtracks.com for more exciting episodes. So let's go back to the track we had last week, which was our Pro Tools First Songwriter track. Now we're actually not going to use this because we're going to start much simpler. So the first thing I'm going to do for this is I'm actually going to go ahead and shut it. So I shut down the windows and I go into Pro Tools first file and I'm going to create a new project. Now we're not going to use a template, we're going to make a song from scratch. So rather than going on the template, we're going to go straight up to the name and we're going to put a new name and now we're going to use a song called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because we all know that. If I use something like an Ed Sheeran song it'll be cool today but it won't be cool in two years and you wouldn't know what, what the song is. Um, so let's do something simple let's go Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and let's write down the name over there. So we say Twinkle Twinkle and we're gonna say create track. This is also a simple song to play so I'm hoping it'll be easy. Have you got a save songwriter? Just say yes save. So um, here we are now. This is a blank window. There's nothing happening here. So the first thing we do is we create a click track. A click track is useful so that we can play to a steady beat and so that when you have many instruments, they all fit together and they make sense together. Yes, so we're going to learn how to put a click track on. So the click track lives up where the track menu is. So if you look up right at the top, you'll see the track menu there. You click on it and go down to create click track. And there you can see a track called click created. If you press play, whoa, nothing's happening. Now this is really important. There's a little metronome button that has to be pressed, that one there. So if you press that and that's blue, only then will you hear the metronome. There we go, you can hear the metronome now. Cool, that's brilliant, it's all working. That's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a guitar track. Yeah. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to track and I will create a new track. Leave the settings as they are. It's a mono track. It's an audio track. It's just one track. And don't worry about the text part. Yeah. And we're going to go create. And it says audio one. We'll change the name by double clicking and we type in the word guitar. And then you say, OK. So now there we go. Now we press the buttons but we're going to first see that everything is all fine nothing is wrong now i'm just going to use the microphone that i have on my laptop nothing fancy all you need to do is to remember to use a headset if you don't use which is just the headphones if you don't use headphones then you're going to get feedback so remember to plug some headphones in that's all you need to do and i'm just going to use the mic on here and an acoustic guitar so i'm not buying anything else i'm just using a pair of headphones if you want you can just use a standard headphones that you get and you can see the guitar signal coming through from there while I strum my guitar. So we press the record button and press the play button. Now it's going to, you can see the count off uh, little thing flashing which is two bars of a count off and then I normally leave one more bar at the start of the track just for fiddling with things later and then I start recording my guitar. So you can see there's a waveform coming through um, in this orange looking thing on the screen as it moves across. Um, and I'm busy playing my guitar at the moment. And so I let, let it all record and I'm playing it to the click track so that I know what I'm doing. I press the stop button once it's finished. Let's have a listen back, see that everything is fine. Can turn off the click by pressing the mute button, the M button, and just listen to the guitar, turn it a little bit louder. Yep, it's all sounding good. So let's turn the guitar off record, go into track new, and we're going to create another track. And this is going to be my vocal, so I'm going to sing over this. Again, just using the microphone that's available, so I'm not doing anything fancy. It's just as simple as we come. Press the record button on the vocals. Go back to the start, record, and press play. 
just turn it a little bit softer so it's not too loud otherwise what happens is the sound from the headphones gets transferred onto the microphone and then you hear a doubling of the track so see that the backing track is not too loud so there's my vocals being recorded the world so high. So I can hear the guitar like and the click a while I'm recording the vocals. In the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, this is called multi tracking, where we do separate tracks How and then I they all come together as if they're one track. Are. Cool, all done. Turn it off. So now if we go and press play, we can hear the vocals and the guitar playing together. Uh, you may not hear it on this video since it's a bit soft in the background, but I can hear it coming through in the recording and I can see the green marks with the next to the guitar and the vocals moving up and down, which tell me that it's uh, all fine. And the click track is turned off, so I can't hear that. That's all fine. So let me click on both those tracks to highlight them and then go into File and I'm going to go to a Export and I'm going to create a file that I can share with other people. So I'm going to create an audio mix and choose all the standard settings. Uh, leave the file name as version 1 because we'll do a few different versions. See that you're happy with where you're going to send it to. One of the settings we will change is the bit depth, which will make 16 bit because if it's 32, it's not going to work on our normal C. 60, 16, leave the other one at 44.1, just the default. Leave the format as interleaved. You can't make MP3s, just waves. Um, click offline bounce and export and it's going to bounce it and it's created a file so if i go into my finder uh, what i see is a file there called twinkle twinkle wave one when i press play on my uh, itunes i can hear the song and there we have so that's the finished track i've created in pro tools i've exported it and i have a song that i can now share with the world and I can do whatever I want to do with it. So that's how we use Pro Tools. It's brilliant, isn't it? And I've done this, it was all free, and I've not used any fancy mics or anything, just whatever's inbuilt into my laptop. Cool, so we're gonna follow this up next week with adding some more tracks and things to the same music. So join us soon for part four. And I'll see you all again next week.